Hi, I'm Ethan Phoenix, and today I will be reviewing Good Light Beauty. Feel free to skip to the parts you want. I'll try to divide it up on the play bar or put timestamps, whatever I can figure out. A few things should be noted. First of all, these products were sent to me, but just because they were sent to me does not mean I'm not going to be honest. The second thing is that this is just a first impressions, so I'm really just going to go over how the textures feel, how the packaging is. I'll update you guys how it goes on probably my Instagram or down in the description, but I will make sure to make an updated video after about 29 days because that's when your skin cycles, so I can give an update on if these products are actually working for me. I'm really excited to talk about this brand because it has the same values I have and it launched on my birthday. So a brand that has my values launching on my birthday, if that's not a match made in heaven, I don't know what is. Their website says, Good Light. From the beauty website, Very Good Light is a personal care brand that believes in beauty beyond the binary. Developed by David Yee and informed by the Very Good Light community, Good Light creates highly efficacious yet gentle personal care products that are for all people regardless of your gender, identity, or sexuality. I really like this because David has expressed that this isn't a gender neutral brand. This is a gender inclusive brand. To me, this is one step further than saying it's made from everyone because it actually acknowledges gender. Their mission says, Good Light is beauty beyond the binary. We are focused on moving culture forward by promoting a more inclusive definition of beauty through products and purpose. We strive to reflect the diversity and fluidity of the world we live in today. Again, personally, I think it just really shows the goal and message this brand is trying to send, especially knowing what Very Good Light already is. I think it's really genuine and this isn't just a trend to the brand. This, I really feel, is the brand's message and purpose. Our products are formulated to be clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and sustainably produced because it's better for you and our world. This means adhering to the EU standards of clean, 1300 banned ingredients, being kind to our animal neighbors, only sourcing sustainable ingredients, and taking steps to reduce our carbon footprint whenever possible. Something cool about this first launch is everything is recyclable. From the packaging to the containers, it's 100% recyclable. In his live stream, David has been really transparent and said they will strive to make everything recyclable when they can, but there will be times where it can't be recyclable just because technology just isn't at that point yet, but where they can be recyclable, they definitely will be. I also really like that they define for this brand what clean means to them, because a lot of times clean is just kind of a word used with fear to say that this brand is clean but these other brands aren't clean and you should be scared of using them but this gives a solid definition and doesn't really use that scare tactic so personally i don't think this brand is just using clean as a buzzword or a trendy word all of our products have also been through thorough testing at cpt labs the elite testing service that's becoming industry standard each of the vigorous trials were patch test in what's called ript testing Patches with our products were applied three times a week for nine applications on people from a representative sample. On a scale from zero, no visible reaction, to four, severe. Good Light products tested at zero. The testing concluded that our products indicated no potential for dermal irritation or allergic contact sensitization. A portion of the sales will also go towards True Colors Uniting, which combats LGBTQ youth homelessness. So here's the boxes, they all come in, just super clean, and they all have um, different artwork on it, which is super pretty. I love the artwork on all of them. And then, then all of them have a flap that says, May Good Light The Way. The first launch includes the Cosmic Dew Water Cleanser, the Moon Glow Milky Toning Lotion, and the We Come In Peace Probiotic Serum. So the most luxurious feeling one is definitely the toning lotion just because it's glass so this feels heavy it feels luxurious the cleanser just feels normal you know a regular squeeze bottle the cheapest feeling one is definitely the serum but what's really cool about it is there's no spring in the pump so david said in his live that the pump is the very first fully recyclable pump because there's no spring in it all three of these products are made in korea the cleanser retails for 18 dollars the toner retails for 22 dollars and the serum retails for 
this definitely isn't cheap, but if the formulas are really good, I think this is really fair pricing. You can also get all three in a bundle for $64. All of these products can be bought at goodlight.world. I'll put it in the bio. Hey, it's Editing Ethan here. I just wanted to re-record something because it got deleted or something. I just can't find it. Good light and very good light symbol is this moth here. And David explained that the moth represents all of us because we seek light and it's normal to want validation. But once we realize that light and validation is within ourselves, that's when the true magic begins. And when you find light inside of yourself and pass it on to someone else, the world becomes a less dark place. I know it's kind of cheesy, but personally, I do like this message because I think it really shows that change starts in yourself and when other people see you, um, that sparks inspiration and it's a chain reaction. Inspiration can come just by seeing people that resonate with you, that identify like you do, or that you see a piece of yourself in. And I just really like that message because that's something I really hope to do. Now that the brand overview is done, we can get into the fun stuff, the products. We're gonna go in order of use. So the first product we're gonna start with is the cleanser. The cleanser says, with red root bromel, hyaluronic acid, and laminaria japonica seaweed. What I think is interesting about this is other than cleansing, obviously, it also says on the back that you can use it as a moisturizing mask and I got dry skin. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do my first cleanse cause it is supposed to take off makeup, which We'll see, but I'm gonna do my first cleanse and then I'll also put it on as a mask because I double cleanse usually with makeup anyways. So I wet my face and let's give this cleanser a go after I take off the safety tab. So it's described as a gel to foam cleanser and I don't know if you can see like the color, but it's kind of iridescent. I think I believe in the live stream they said there's no added colors or anything to it. Like it's just naturally like this. Okay, let's get into it. So first off the bat, there doesn't seem to be any fragrance or anything. It has a really light scent, but I'm guessing that's just the natural smell of the cleanser. Mm. It's doing a pretty good job at taking my makeup off. Wow. Did you see the eyeliner? It's just gone. My mascara is a tubing mascara, so it will come off just with warm water. So I can't really attribute the cleanser to it doing that. But foundation and the eyeliner, a waterproof eyeliner, yeah, it just took it off. So here it is, all rinsed off. It actually took off most of my makeup. And I don't know if you can see, but so far nothing's coming off on the towel. Mm, I'm pretty impressed. Usually I don't dry my face, but because I want to use it as a mask and it said to leave it on dry skin, I'm gonna do that now. So just popping it on dry skin now. Feels very sticky. Yeah, very tacky. Hmm, I can smell it a little more dry. So it's been a few minutes, so now I'm gonna rinse off the mask. Oddly enough, my skin does feel more hydrated after using that as a mask. Hmm, okay, good light. So next, we're gonna go in with the toning lotion. So it says, with snow mushroom, fruit extracts, oak kernel extracts, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. I like niacinamide a lot. So I'm really excited about this because on David's live, he said a lot of people testing it said they saw results within a week. So I'm really excited. It's nice, all of these have little safety, um, or not safety, what is it? Like can contamination preventer, whatever tabs in them. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few dabs. That was pretty hard to shake out. Like I barely got a lot. Hmm. So the scent is kind of floral. I don't know if it has like any added preferences. I don't remember it saying it was side things for you or not. The brand. I don't think it did though. It smells nice, it's really subtle. I'm not a person who minds fragrance though, but I don't think it was that strong. I don't think if you're if you're okay if your skin's okay with fragrance, I don't think you'll notice 
it, putting it on. David said in his live, again, oh, I'll link the live in the bio also. He said if your skin doesn't need that much hydration, you can just use the toner and get away with it, especially like in summer months, if your skin's like that. Okay, the last step is the serum. I've never used um, any skincare with probiotics in them, so I'm pretty interested in this. The serum says with probiotics, blue tansy, bocuccio, moringa seed, and carrot seed oils. This one doesn't really have a smell either. So out of all of them, I think the toner is the only one that really has a scent. My skin feels pretty hydrating right now. So I'm just gonna finish my normal routine with some moisturizer and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. Once again, I just wanna preface this with this is just my first impressions and skincare, you need like 29 days because that's how long it takes your skin to cycle to actually see full results and know if a product's good or not. What I can confidently say is the cleanser of the first impression really impressed me because it really just took off all my makeup in one go basically. Even the waterproof liner, that just wiped off. But then even using it as a mask, like that felt pretty hydrating after too. But yeah, I think the cleanser is definitely a go. As for the toning lotion and the serum, I you can't really tell how they're gonna react after one use. I did like the experience of the toner. The bottle's really nice, the scent is really nice. It just felt really nice on the skin. But again, time will tell. David did say that this, a lot of people saw results with in a week. So I will update the box or comment or something if I see anything. So yeah, that is my first impressions of Good Light Beauty. Again, if you want a stronger stance on these products, please like, comment, and subscribe. And in a future video, I will definitely update to see how these products are doing. But yeah, guys, so I definitely love this brand's philosophy. I love the artwork. I love the packaging. I love that it's sustainable, recyclable. I just love all that for sure. I don't know about the products yet because again, this is my first time, but definitely I think I think it's pretty safe to say the cleanser is a good cleanser. And again, the other products, it'll, we'll just see in time. Hopefully, I'm really hoping, just because I like the brand philosophy so much, I'm really hoping these products work out. But yeah, I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But thank you guys for watching. I'm Ethan Phoenix. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.